What's up peeps and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something slightly different. As you can see by the title of the video, um, it's not going to be a pleasant one. I'm sure by now you've all heard of the situation with Chris Chan. I mean, most big YouTubers, commentary, commentary channels have been talking about it. Um, there's been, it's been trending and yeah. However, I haven't spoken much about it. I mean, I've commented a little bit on Gibby's videos. Well, not so much on the video, but on the um, community posts that he made. And got into a real long discourse that was like paragraph after paragraph of comments going back and forth with a few people. As well as some other people in some comments on another video to do with the whole situation. And there is a lot of discourse in this um, whole situation. And really, I can understand why there's discourse, but at the same time, though, there's quite a bit that's clear cut, in my opinion. But before I say my opinion, I want to hear from a fellow trans woman's perspective of this. Like, just before Blair uploaded it, well, set it for a premiere, I was thinking, like, a couple hours before that, I wonder what Blair White thinks of this whole, whole Chris Chan situation. And lo and behold, she goes and does a video on it. So, without further ado, let's um, get into this and see what uh, Blair has to say about this whole messy situation that could be vastly damaging for the trans community. Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, if you've watched me even just casually throughout the years, you would know that I have covered some of the most depraved, yep. interesting to say the least, just gutter butt individuals that exist on the internet and i've chronicled people like director katie neve people like defunct me and honestly i felt like i had kind of been desensitized to the black abyss that is humanity i <laughs> really thought i had seen it all but according to you guys in the mini dms i've received over the past few days i have in fact not seen it all and speaking of jessica katie neve the story that we're covering today does mirror jessica it does a bit yeah Aspects because Chris Chan, the subject of today's video, is trans, and the reason I I like the way you you said that, Blair. Um, but yeah, no, it does mirror your news a little bit. Also, I I commented on the um, Chris Chan getting arrested video within four hours of it going up. Like as soon as that video went up, well, I was asleep, but as soon as I saw that video was up, like I was straight on that. So satisfying to see Chris Chan get arrested. There, I said it. Someone had to say it. But anyways, let's get back into this. I, I love the first expression. Self-identified as, as May. Girl, intersex female soul with a male body, a tranny cross-dresser, and a lesbian identified male. Not to mention this person's alleged transition consists of tape piercings, wearing menstrual pads, taking medication to treat menopause, which is not recommended or useful for transition, cutting his own job with a box cutter at home because the internet told him to, claiming to be trans to, quote, get more girls, and being the wife of the Pokemon Mewtwo, so... I couldn't have listed it better myself. These are all the points that I've been trying to point out to people. Whenever someone's trying to defend that they are trans, I point all of these out. And they still come back at me. Chris Chan is not trans. And they are spitting all over trans rights and issues. But I, I, I love the way that Blair just like threw a laptop and just stormed out. Like, that was... That was my reaction at one point to Chris Chan. But I've been following the whole Chris Chan story for a few years now. I'm not a Christorian per se, but like I have been aware of Chris Chan and I have been following the situation for at least three or four years now. However, I did not expect this ending for the saga. This is the bad ending. Like <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Now, Chris Chan is often referred to as the most documented person on the internet. 
Yeah, there's a 59 part documentary series uploaded on. God, I can't remember the name of the channel. I'm subscribed to them though. I haven't seen all the parts. I don't have that much time to invest in learning about Chris Chan, but like, I've seen some of it and I've seen clips here and there. So, like, I'm well versed in the history of Chris Chan and how much of a pathological liar they are, how much that they've stretch the truth how much that they've been manipulating people the conversations that they've had with um, people on his love quest like i'm aware of all of this and this is why when people try and defend chris chan and use the term people are being transphobic when people are bringing them down a pot down a peg funny the trans community excommunicated him years ago, long before this, this incident. Like, it's only 14-year-old social justice warriors that are the ones that are trying to defend this despicable human being. Cut in the clip from Tangled. I'm not going to do that, but like, you know. Although it may be a new name to some of you, to a lot of you, you will know that he is actually very internet famous and his antics and criminal history. Thank you. Well, thank you for using his. Calling it like you see it. Calling it the truth. Like, yes. And everyone's being like, it's disrespectful to not, pro to the, to not respect their pronouns. Bitch, what? Which what? There was a one point when Chris Chan thought that he was literally Sonichu from his comic. And the entire year, he was using male pronouns to describe himself. After identifying as trans. Not once, not once, have I used male pronouns to refer to myself ever since coming out as trans. Not once. Chris Chan is delusional. He is deluded. He may have BPD. He may have split personalities. Some may be male, some may be female. But that does not make a trans person. Someone who is trans knows who they are on the inside and then starts to try and express that on the outside and tries to live their truth. Chris Chan doesn't even know who he is. History and posts and just everything, every interaction he's almost ever had is documented on the internet to the point where there is a series on YouTube going on part 60, I believe, right now. Oh, it's part 60 now, is it? Actually, really, really long. Like, it's, it's a whole thing with this woman. So why am I here talking about Chris today? Well, Chris was trending on Twitter just a few days ago, and I noticed this, and I had heard the name kind of off and on throughout the years because, like I said, he is quite well known. Previously, I had not really dove into the entirety of his history online, which I did last night, and um, I am wearing 10 pounds of concealer because I have dark circles out to share. It, it... You can't tell. So I see Chris Chan trending on Twitter, and I look, and it's because... Uh, I'm glad that you went and did all of this research and literally stayed up all night doing research into this despicable ofo. Like, I applaud you for that, Blair. Even I, someone who's been following the story for years, doesn't have the time nor patience to spend that much time to dedicate myself to learn everything about Chris Chan. So I applaud you. And this is one of the reasons why I wanted to go to, like, say, Blair to talk on this subject. Because I may, be, may have followed the story for several years, but I'm not well versed. I don't know everything. And to be honest, I wasn't expecting Blair to have gone and watched almost everything. I mean, it's like 20 plus hours worth of that documentary. Like, there's so much. But thank you for doing the research. And just from like that list of things that you said at the beginning before you went off and screamed, like that just shows how much you are aware, even though you're new to this whole Chris Chan saga, 
that just shows how much more aware you are of who Chris Chan is than these SJWs that are trying to defend Chris Chan under the umbrella of trans rights. No. No. Anyways, let's continue, Blair. I, I just wanted to applaud you for going through all that trouble. Of a leaked audio in which Chris admits to raping his 80-year-old mother. Mm -hmm. Absolutely disgusting. With dementia. Absolutely vile human being. And Chris followed me. I think I'm going to delete my account. <laughs> developing, but as of yesterday, Chris was actually arrested for I need to get a straw. Yeah. Hallelujah. How many times is there never any justice served for things that happen on the internet? Like you see so My hands getting cut off. We need to keep escaping the justice system. But yeah, I know. That's ridiculous. So I'm going to play the audio clip that was leaked of Chris admitting to, again, raping his mother. Yeah, I've heard this audio clip a few times. Like, the thought is disgusting. Um, and the audio clip is pretty disgusting, too. So that is your fair warning. It is absolutely vile. <sighs> that was not looking forward to hearing this again. I've heard it a few times due to other channels that I watch, like Some Morning Gamers, Gibby. Um, I think there's another channel that I saw that covered this as well. But this is not how, like, I, I didn't. I did not see this coming from Chris. I mean, I know, I already knew that Chris was a vile human being. But I did not see this coming. Like. Oh, God. It's horrible. No, I'm a good. Mm. So immediately after this. <sighs> I need a second. Like, I may have heard that audio clip like three times at this point due to Gibby, another creator that I can't remember the name of, and some more gamers, but it never gets any easier to listen to. Like, A, that's your mom you're talking about. B, that's an old age pensioner you're talking about. C, that's someone with dementia you're talking about. And I've seen the videos where Bob is on camera. And she isn't all there. She she doesn't know how to respond to some of the prompts that Chris Chan has given her before. She she's vacant. Like she's she's there, but she's like spaced out. Like there is no excuse for abusing the elderly, let alone your own flesh and blood mother. Breathe. Right. Get back into what Blair's got to say. He leaked it, who knows, but pretty much immediately the internet obviously and justifiably went into an uproar and I can only imagine how many calls were made to the authorities. I mean, you have elder abuse, you have abuse of someone who is not all there, obviously having dementia, and I don't know if you guys have ever known anyone who's had dementia, mm -hmm. but it's incredibly sad. And the thought of violating your own blood, your mother, when they have dementia in any way, like nonetheless, but in any way is sickening. And frankly... Chris Chan deserves to be locked behind bars forever. Agreed. If he's a blight on society, clearly society would only stand to gain by having him removed from it. I mean, Agreed. I say this is like the bottom of the barrel of morality, but it's not even in the barrel. It didn't even make the cut to be inside the motherfucking barrel. Flash forward to yesterday, Chris is being arrested outside what looks like a Motel 6. Like, I don't... What is this building? And apparently, despite being arrested for the rape of his mother... He seemed to be in good spirits. Yeah, I've seen the video. Yeah, you're lying to about 3,000 people right now, Chris Chen. You're taking everything in stride, you said you're doing good? 
feeling good? Feeling good? How's the last few days been? I know it's been pretty stressful. And you want to know what part of this story, I mean, all of it is maddening, but the part of the story that is just a little cherry on top of a horrific, disgusting situation, the part that just makes me want to drive my pink car off of a cliff is the fact that Chris has actually filed as a female for the mugshot and will likely, because of that, be placed into a... There may be a slight uh, jump there because I don't know what happened, but my OBS decided to stop recording for some strange reason um, when I pressed pause on the video. Um, yeah, I, I, I was going on to a little rant about the fact that there are laws in Virginia, the state in which, obviously, as you can see on the screen there, that Chris Chad is from. There are laws against father, daughter, mother, son, brother, sister, but not laws against mother, daughter. So, and I learned this through some of the gamers' uh, coverage of this topic. And considering the fact that there is no law against mother, daughter, <laughs> Chris Chan may get off not free. I mean, all they're being held on at the moment is that you know i don't want to get like blocked by the algorithm by saying the i word but that charge not on the grape charge not on abuse of the elderly charge you know there's only one charge that chris chan is being held on at the moment and that is the i word so with that being said if they process this as chris chan being female even though we all know that, well, it's a hot topic with 14-year-old SJWs trying to defend Chris Chan under the, under the umbrella of trans rights, even though both me and Blair both agree I'm not trans. Um, there, is a, there is a high chance that Chris Chan may get off scot-free rather than being placed into a woman's prison. However, say that they do, go, do get sent down and they do go to a woman's prison. That is going to be su that's such a bad, uh, like, it's going to be dangerous because it's going to be dangerous for the women in that prison. And it's also going to be significantly harmful to the trans community and our rights to be within, our, uh, within women's spaces where we belong and also be trusted and treated as fellow human beings rather than delusional, predatory individuals, which is what people like Ben Shapiro, Piers Morgan, uh, Caitlin Bennett, all will try and strive and turn the narrative to be that we are predatory people, and we are not. There are a select few people who who use the term trans in order to get into these spaces because they are predators, not because they are trans. There is a huge difference. Right. Ran over. Let's get back into um, what what Blair's got to say about this. Um... So a fully intact biological male, his mother. Okay, and then <sighs> placed into a women's prison. Congratulations, society. Congratulations on this just miraculous nose dive that we've taken as a whole. Twenty twenty one. Gotta love it. It's also worth noting this is not Chris's first incident of assaulting someone. There is actually a video of him macing a GameStop employee seemingly unprovoked, and the GameStop employee doesn't seem to be anywhere near Chris to warrant any type of physical self-defense, and as a result, Chris was arrested. Now, a perhaps obvious piece of information that is relevant to the story is that Chris is autistic, and I have seen some people, not the majority by any means, but I have seen some people saying that this behavior is a result of him being autistic and that it might not be true that he actually has done this to his mother because autistic people might lie about that. And my whole thing is, have the people who are saying this ever met an autistic person? Because I know many autistic people, I have people in my family who are autistic, and 
they don't do the kind of shit that Chris does and they don't lie about stuff like like I don't understand how being autistic makes you more of a liar like what does that even mean also no it doesn't autistic people they lack some social cues they find it difficult to look you in the eyes they 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 will obsess over certain things like my last ex she was or she had asperger's and was autistic right so i went out with someone who was autistic i went out with her for nine months and yeah like being autistic does not make you a pathological liar being autistic doesn't make you deluded like that there are other underlying conditions within chris chan that cause this delusional behavior it has nothing to do with the autism so don't come at me saying that i'm being mean to chris chan over the autistic behavior when this is not autistic behavior apples and lemons no, apples and oranges was it lemons i guess i got lemon on the mind but yeah so um I just wanted to point that out that I've dated autistic people. I know autistic characteristics. And yeah, Chris Chan may be autistic, but the autism doesn't present in such deluded fantasies and delusions of grandeur. Because Chris Chan has got a lot of delusion of grandeur in his life. But anyways, let's let Larry finish. Chris is high functioning so it's even more of an insult like you think high functioning autistic people behave like this like and there is another sizable chunk of people who you know their main takeaway from hearing about a horrific environment of an 80 year old with dementia is that we should be using the right pronouns for Chris we shouldn't be misgendering Chris there are a lot of people who their only opinion on the entire thing like their only statement on their Twitter feeds or their TikToks or whatever the fuck they're talking is that we should be using the correct pronouns for Chris. And I'm kind of like, huh, what exactly does it say about you that upon hearing about such a horrific thing, your only thoughts are about pronouns? And then you wonder why no one takes you seriously. Sweetie, this is the kind of thing that people are making memes about it. And honestly, it's just insulting that anyone would even consider Chris to be trans. I mean, I'm personally insulted by that. Preach, girl. Preach. I'm insulted by that, too. And this is why... What is that facial expression that I just paused Blair on? Um, sorry about that. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, this is, like, one of the things that I'm constantly having to do in comment sections is I'm having to prove time and time again to these people that Chris is not trans. And it's an insult to the trans community and it's going to cause so much damage to the trans community with the fact that all these SJWs are trying to fight for the pronouns of this despicable human being like and like I said it's going to feed into that horrible mainstream narrative that Piers Morgan, Caitlin Bennett, Ben Shapiro try and shovel to the public it's so damaging. But I'm going to give these people the benefit of the doubt that if they actually knew what Chris's transition consisted of and how it's not, and the reasons why Chris is trans, which is admittedly to get more girls, that's not what trans is. And if you think that's what trans is, again, I'm offended. So if you're probably Likewise. so bent that you care about the people of an 80-year-old woman with dementia, and your only statement is please use the correct pronouns. You know what I mean? Like not, has anyone checked on the mom? Is she receiving medical care? Not, wow, that's messed up. N nothing, just like, can you say please? Girl, bye. Obviously though, in my opinion, the trans aspect of the story is really just the backdrop. Something tells me this saga is very far from over, but I personally will be stepping away from even reading about it because it's a lot. I'm moving to Austin, Texas in a couple weeks. I have a lot of really nice things happening in the darkness. Just stay away from the darkness. <laughs> Even though I look like a witch right now, darkness. Uh, you're darkness. looking fire, queen. You're looking fire. I love the outfit. The nails. But, um, yeah, no, Blair definitely touched on pretty much every point that I have been trying to hammer into people. 
since this whole situation started. And she probably articulated it way better than I could have done if I made my own video on it. So, yes, Queen, yes. But, yeah, like, I've already said my piece as we've been going through this video. I don't think I need to elaborate any more on what I think of this whole situation. Blair got it in one. I knew, like, as soon as Blair came up on my feed that the video was going to be a good one and that she had all the points nailed. She, she always gets everything bang on. Anyways, I know it's been a bit of a dark one today, but unfortunately that's the situations that's going on right now. So, if you enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up. If you disliked it, hit that thumbs down. But drop a comment down below and tell me why you disliked it. And if you're new here and you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. I would love you eternally. With that being said, peace out and namaste peeps.